I'm your host, Dan Rojas, and this is a quick video on magnetic propulsion that we use for the rotor inside of the alternators that we make. There are neodymium magnets in between these, the small half inch by one inch magnets. Each time you add one to the loop, you create like a long magnet is what you end up with. And then the metal squares hook together. These are two rare earth magnets that we use for the levitation video. They they are opposing each other. The surface is coming off. These are old magnets that I've had for a while. When you put these on here, they it doesn't want to go, it repels it that way, but once it gets past the track, it goes all the way down and it can actually release on the end. This can also put this uphill. This cardboard is not a hard surface, it's just soft cardboard. So this suffers some resistance as it goes down the track. So if I take a little block and lift the table up on this end, this is now going uphill. You can actually see that the bubble's favoring this side. It has the ability to actually send this uphill and if this drops, like if you actually have the magnets lower a little bit, this can end up in a higher point and release. It works. I mean, right now... It takes it all the way to the end. And these just are just... They're just steel hexagons. And it actually, it'll work with shorter... Uh, shorter distances too. And you can see that it totally and it actually completely releases. It went completely off frame. So we are sending an object uphill and it's releasing which is pretty cool. See that it comes all the way down and releases. Here is the clearance that that has. Here's another interesting thing about this. If you place this so that the steel rod is the wheel for this, and you get these just right, once this, this is actually going a little uphill right now. The closer that these magnets are in, it, it has, but the more likely uh, that it is to do that. So, there's kind of a trade-off. If you put them too close in, they tend to want to pull in and create friction against the inner rail if you do have something to keep them from doing this. The higher up this is, the weaker that the pull is down there, but the easier it is to release. And see if we can start the process all over again. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.